Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you all the weapons on Fields of Battle. As some of you might have looked it up, I have been looking for videos like this. And I have fortunately not found any, so I want to show all my I want to show all my subscribers the video. So the max video the max level is indeed 25. As you can see, for the last weapons, the last two paintball guns that you would like to unlock, you have to have level 25. So, I'm just going to show you all the weapons right now. This is the default weapon, the Tipman Model 98 rental, which you get at the very beginning of the game. It's the Tipman Alpha Black, which is a single shot M4. It's mainly for sniper but if you do not have a fast finger on here then you probably shouldn't use it same thing with this one but it's a better a little bit because it's a burst then um this one I like it like whenever I didn't have any other um, better guns I used it because it was like super accurate at that time since I was a noob it was super accurate so and it was a burst it's like three shot burst this is the smart parts SP1 it's um shoots really fast here. I'm gonna try it for a second. That way you guys can see it. As you can see it shoots pretty fast. It's good for um people who are just starting the game. I think you unlock it at like level seven or nine, I believe. On the two. This is the Sacramento special, which is awesome. You unlock it at like level seven. I believe, I think so. But um with this gun, as you can see the fire speed is almost all the way up. And the range is almost all the way up, and the accuracy is pretty close to it. But the only bad thing about it is that it's burst. So it only shoots three at a time. But if you were to do close range, it's actually good for any warfare, really. Because, like, if you were to snipe with it, it would go so far and so accurate. But if you were to shoot up close with it, you could take out people pretty quick. This is my favorite sniper. Cause like it shoots pretty accurate and the range is pretty good too. And single shot. I use it for all my snipers. This is a tactical rifle. It pretty much just sucks. Though it is fully automatic. But it only holds 14 bullets. This is the CCM T2 pump gun custom. It is a pump gun. But it's accuracy is almost not as if it lines up on here. The range on the other hand. Ranges, it goes pretty far straight, but um, after that, it's pretty much screwed because it just goes everywhere after that. It's a smart part to eye on. I like it a little bit because, I mean, if you like close range, close, pretty much. It's like if you were to be running, you pretty much go pretty easily. That's just about all. But if you were to shoot for long distances, such as this, not really long, but as you can see, it goes everywhere. You can't really see that thing very well. But um, this is the Eclipse Ego. Ego, however you say that, I don't even know. It's pretty good, but it's burst. <laughs> Most of the awesome um, guns are bursts, except for this one. This is the Lux, the final gun you get in the game. Other than this one. The final gun. You do pay coins for it. Which I think is awesome. But um. The fire speed is all the way up. The range is all the way up. The accuracy is almost all the way up. The weight is so far down. The air use isn't bad. At all. It's like super good. And then I'm going to show you this thing. You can buy the coins. 3,000 coins. Which you should probably save up. And it goes pretty fast. Just after about uh, about 50 feet, it kind of goes a little bit off track. Other than that, no. It's pretty good. I like it. This is the Infinity Legend, which you also unlock at level 25. Um, all the ones that you use for gold are just a waste because, I mean, you gotta pay money for them. This one's awesome. This one's alright, but... I wouldn't recommend spending 105 gold on it. If you spend any gold on any weapon, 
it'd be the LMG, which I will show you later. This is the Eclipse E Tech, E Tech, which costs 95 gold, and um, it shoots okay, mainly for mid range, not as much for close though. I guess it's all right for close. It's not much for far. You can see it going everywhere. This is the WGP Autococker SR09. It's a gold gun, of course, so you wouldn't want to spend any money on that. This is the Dangerous Power G3. It is a burst. I think it may shoot three bullets, although some of them, some of the burst guns shoot six. This is the Tipman X7, which costs 80 gold. This is a pretty good gun, just it's gold. It's the only second part about it. It's the Clips Ego, or Geo. The range is pretty good on it. I'll show you for a second. See how far it goes straight? Yeah, it's alright. This is the Joyfly. It's got a really long barrel for range. Fire speed's okay, but the air use is terrible. This is the Eric Engler Custom Carbine. It just isn't really good. Because, I mean, 75 gold, you wouldn't want to waste on something like this. Let's see, Spider Electra. It is 95 gold as well. And it is not really good. This is the Key BT TM7. It, I think it shoots kind of fast now nah, this this is for up close if you are one shot or two shot kills not really much full fire or spay spray and pray is what me and my friend calls it me and one of my other teammates this is the LMG the best gun in the game it is just this is the definition of spray and pray I'm gonna show you guys real quick Let's say you're going, then you just, you can, as you can look right down here, where, if you were to click that, where you reload at. Oh, and you can change your weapon by wherever. You can scroll through your bot weapons by doing that, by holding it and pulling. You also click it to reload. But if you look down there, it tells you, it shows, just shows you how fast these bullets are going through. Is awesome, but it costs a thousand gold, as you can see. It's the pump gun. It sucks because it. I mean, it costs so much, but yet it is um. Eighty-five gold. I mean, it's eighty-five gold and it sucks. It's just terrible. It's the key invert mini. It's kind of like a mini version, pretty much, as it says in the name. It's not a bad gun for fifteen gold. Now let me rephrase that. It's a terrible gun for 15 gold. Because, I mean, if you were to spend, what, that's probably, what, dollars worth? Just about 50 cents worth. It's like you're spending 50 cents on that gun. This is the Spider Pilot. It's okay, but, um... Hmm, that's funny. But, um, the air use is terrible. You don't really shoot fast, and it costs 55 gold. This is the Vulcan Proton. The air use is terrible. Like, you can see how much it is on the air use. The weight's not bad. The range isn't good either. The accuracy, it looks like it's for up close shooting, not far away. Fire speed ain't really close either. So it's mainly for, like, close-up shots or for single-shot people. But, um, that's just about all I have to show you about the guns. It's like, I looked it up whenever I was a little noob. And, um... I couldn't find any videos on all the guns, so I thought I should just post a video about the guns. So I'm subscribed to me and my other friends. If you were to look at the introduction of the Assassination, that's what we call them. That's what we call ourselves, the Assassination Squad. Then um, you can just see all the people that we should, that are in the, um, Ask Nation Squad, and you should subscribe to their channels because we do awesome videos. Although, one of my friends just likes to do cat videos, which is kind of weird. But, um, 
Other than that, subscri please subscribe to our channel and leave a like in the... And leave a like. Peace.